If you're thinking of a quick trip to St. Augustine, come join us for our one and a half days that we had on our trip going to Orlando from Canada. We had wanted to see something new, so we thought we would check out St. Augustine as a stop on the way, since it's only about a two-hour drive from St. Augustine to Orlando. We chose to stay in the historic part of town so that we would be within walking distances to some of the attractions. We booked kind of last minute during March break, so we had limited locations to choose from. So we stayed at Villa 1565, which is an older refurbished motel very near the old jail and fountain of youth. We arrived later in the day, so we decided to plan to do our sightseeing the next day and see as much as we could in one day. That night we headed to Anastasia Island to try an outdoor patio dining. Although the restaurant itself does not advertise beach views, the website we had found it on said it did. We arrived at the Sunset Grill, which is on the other side of the road of the beach, and all beach views were blocked. Since it was windy and cold, the outdoor seating was just on the inside of the patio, but we were kept warm with the heaters. The drinks were good, the food was tasty, and the prices were reasonable. Although the staff were not overly friendly, they were quick and efficient. We enjoyed our meal, and we would definitely go back again. Since we didn't see the beach, we thought we would look to see if there was some access to get to a, the beach somehow. We drove for a while down and just when we thought that there would be no places to go, we did find the Ocean Hammock Park walkway, which had a small parking lot and a walkway to the beach. So we found this little walkway with a parking spot that will take us to the beach. So we're going to just... The only problem is it's 22 8 and it closes and the gates close at 8 so we're pushing it here um, we don't know how long of a walk it takes to get to the beach so we basically have 10 minutes there and 10 minutes back All right, we made it. it was, we've got like five minutes to spare. Lights out for sea turtles, cool. Oh, I almost walked in the giant puddle. The moon. It's just, I love Florida. After the beach, it was back to the motel to Villa 1565 to get ready for a full day of touring. There are so many things to do in St. Augustine, and we felt the best way to see the most and learn about the city was to do a trolley tour. We booked Old Town Trolley, and we bought our ticket at the motel, but we should have just bought a package at the trolley station, as they had some packages that included admission to some, some of the stops and local attractions. You can also buy these at Tour Pass as well. The trolley has 22 stops on the tour, which provides many of the interesting stops of things to do in the city. Once you're in the historic district, these are mostly within walking distance, so you don't need to do the trolley tour to go to the places you want to see, but you do get a lot of interesting information on the tour. One of the stops is also at the Visitor Information Center, where you can get more information on the stops and get some discount coupons. There is so much to see and do, you will have to choose what interests you most in the time you are there. We decided to just basically stay on the trolley and see the whole tour. Um, that was our game plan, but we ended up getting off at the fort. So our first stop was at the Castillo de San Marco, and we purchased the tour inside. I think they were $15 per, per adult, and we had paid also $30 per adult for the trolley tour. You can walk the perimeter outside for free, but if you want to go inside to see the barracks and learn the history on a self-guided tour, you do have to pay. Head 
mansion in that little spot there. Hey. It's cute. So if you don't want to pay to come into the fort, you can just you can have the walk around down there for free. But um, what was it? Fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars for an adult per person. And it's quite a nice views up here. Now, it's not the greatest of days today, weather-wise, but actually it's not bad. Did you enjoy it, Andrew? It's very interesting. Walking from the fort down into the older section of town. You find a lot of restaurants down in this area. There's the St. Augustine Shipwreck Museum. The trolleys go by here all the time. Martini Bar. Hemingway House in Bed and Breakfast. Goldsmith. There's the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that house. So as you see, after the tour and the Castilla de San Marcos, we walked back over to St. George Street, which is a pedestrian mall. We did some shopping and got a bite to eat. As you walk around, you'll see many shops from art and pottery stores to souvenir shops, pet stores, clothing, and many others. When it started to rain, we looked for a place to eat, and we chose Sangrias. This looked like it would be quite the busy place in the evening, but it was very quiet in the afternoon. We decided to sit upstairs outside to get a nice view of the street. So we're here at Sangria, and... Wines and tapas. Wines and tapas. Oh, yeah, Sangrias, wines and tapas. And we both got a white Sangria. I got this Sangrila. It came with... What was it? White port? White port. Coconut. Coconut. Wine. Wine. White wine. Um, there's coconut and orange on the top. I think they, it says, and yours has banana. Yours like a banana flavor. Yeah, mine's Havana banana. So it's uh, white wine, white port, banana, um, pineapple. And that's, it. that's it. And you like yours? Mine's good. It's actually really nice up here. You see the uh, nice little view. It was starting to rain, so we got in here for the rain. There's tables all on the outside here and around the corner. After some more shopping, we headed back to our motel, which was right close to Magnolia Ave. This street is lined with oak trees with Spanish moss, also known as Grandpa's Beard. And Spanish, mo Spanish moss is actually a not a tree, but a flowering plant that grows on large trees, but it doesn't use them for nutrients. As we walked to the Fountain of Youth, we walked by the Coquina Wall, which is made of shell and limestone. Arriving at the Fountain of Youth, we realized it's an entire park and we wouldn't have enough time to see it as it's actually it was three o'clock at this point. So we headed over to the old time jail and decided to do a tour here. The, t the jail actually has live actors who act like they are jail inmates and take you on a uh, tour of all the cells and give you a history and show you what it was like for the actual um, prisoners at that time. As it was getting later in the day, we decided to head back over to Anastasia Island to go to Panama Hatties for, di for dinner. So we decided to come back to the Ocean Hammock Walkway, where you walk through the wetlands, and we managed to see a turtle, um, not sure if he was nesting. So even if your trip is here to see the historic area, it's worthwhile coming over here later in the evening and just checking out the beach. So thank you for watching. If you want to see the rest of our Florida trip, please like and subscribe.